Buenos dias. <laughs> How y'all doing? Girl, today is work day. It's work day. I keep saying I'm done with the yard. I'm done. I'm not done. I'm. I will never be done. Like gardening is like all the time. Like it, it's never ending. I live in Texas. You can grow year round. It's never done. But I think what I mean when I say I'm done is I'm done spending money. But I'm not. I just spent another forty dollars. So I'm not done, and I won't be done because it's a continual thing. But I think I'm done with like um. I don't know. I keep saying done, but flowers, like buying big plants and stuff. I think I'm done. I even went to Lowe's this morning. I filmed that, so I'm going to add that to this, where I wanted to buy a fig tree. I think I wanted to buy a fig plant. I think I do. I even thought about the olive one. And I think it's only because it's $13.98, and it's there, and I see it. Like, it wasn't on my list. I have a list of, like, wands, like, car bells. Like, there's some things I really want, and I think, add interest and beauty to the garden and um there's some trees i've always wanted like the papaya the banana so there's things i've wanted we had a fig tree at my old house girl and we had so many squirrels <laughs> um but and it was huge huge like 30 foot like it was huge so i i don't really want that i don't think i think i just saw it and got excited so i filmed it all i filmed everything they had that i saw I think today is the last day for the sales anyway um i needed to get those huge stakes to put uh, those fencing stakes to put in the um speaking of is this on my car no to put on uh in the ground so i can go ahead and put my tarp up today so we do that together today um i planted my garden wrong i planted my i did this whole thing and i'll show you when i get home of my poster board of what was planted where I did it wrong and I, I didn't realize I did it wrong until the other day when I bought my shade and I thought oh my goodness this is why I want to move my okra and I kept saying it over and over I don't want to grow my okra where I grew it last year the year before but it grew so well in that spot now I remember why it's because it grows tall it grows huge and it kind of gets stunted when I put my shade cloth there it doesn't get a chance to grow as big as it can grow and I always kept out at six feet six feet and I kept and I'm now I remember why it's because my shade cloth caps it off so I am going to dig up my okra that is about this tall and I'm going to pot them up in pots I ordered five gallon pots hopefully I can put two in a pot girl I don't know these these grow huge I'm gonna try to put two in each pot I have like the bubble okra, the crimson, spineless. I'm going to try to put two in each box. I think I got quite a bit in that bed. And that bed is now just going to be something else. I don't know what else. Um, it's time to start a second session of seeds. So I've started seeds yesterday with like some like random stuff. Some I bought these extra large basil seeds. I bought um, some Cosmo seeds. There's some other little seeds, like stuff like that I bought to start succession planting as they grow and other things wither. It's time to start replacing in the next couple of weeks, right? In the next month. So I start now for next month. The cucumbers all look good, so I didn't restart any of those. The squash looks fine, I didn't restart any of those. The tomatoes look awesome. However, I want to try the chocolate tomatoes and those like ice cream tomatoes, whatever they call. So I did see those. Um, it was a pepper I put in there. I think it was poblano. I really I can't believe I don't have poblano pepper spawn. I thought I did. But anyway, I went ahead and seeded those so I could start doing something. But I need to put something in that bed and I don't know what right now. I don't know what I want to put in that bed. Um once I take out the okra. And I, the shake off I currently have is the 70 um, percent UV ray. And what that means is just blocking 70 percent of the UVs. Um, it gets really hot here in Texas. So anything anywhere between 50 percent is good. 50 percent is good. You need the sun. It's hot, y'all. When it gets to 100 and something, I need the 60, 70 percent clock. Right now, I don't. But I need to do it now because when it gets hot, I'm not going to want to go out there and do it. Um, even at 80 something degrees, like right now it's 74. When it gets to like 88, 89, it's hot being out there. And it's it's not 88, 89, you're dipping in and out. My vegetable garden is sitting 
for eight hours at 90 degree temps, 89. You know what I'm saying? So it'll say 88 with a heat index of 90 something. So it really feels like it's hotter than. And so I need to go ahead and just knock it out. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm about to get a couple bags of dirt. I got a bag, a $2 bag of some uh, mulch. I'm just gonna throw that down on the ground and set my bags on top of it, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm not really trying to peel the grass in that area. I just want to sit my bags on top of something. So I bought some mulch. That was like a busted bag. One bag of, um, what is that? Uh, cow manure to mix in with my, um, this bag I'm about to buy. I need to go to the feed store. I need to go to the feed. I need to get hay, y'all, before it gets hot. And I need to water my stuff so freaking good. It rained really good the other day. And I should have covered it with hay as soon as the rain was over. That way we can lock in that moisture. Because that hay helps me with locking that moisture. And I like the hay I get, this, which is garden hay. Gotta Kind of got to be careful because some of the garden hay has grass seeds in it. And it will bring grass. But, you know, we, girl, we use our fingers. We pick weeds. <laughs> we pick weeds. The girls get paid a few dollars to pick weeds on the weekend. All right, so good morning. It's the next day, and I am at Lowe's. I'm not going to buy this, but I'm going to try to find this one day. Look at this. So this is called a Petunia Night Sky. Oh, my goodness, that is so pretty. But it's six bucks, y'all, for this one container. I mean, I guess it's six bucks. I wonder... It's an annual full sun, so I don't want to buy something that's not going to come back the next year, but it's so pretty. I would love to have, like, a bed of that, like, in a moon garden. I don't have a moon garden, by the way, but I wouldn't mind having one one day. Um, but anyway, this is what I came back for. I just wanted to see what they had, y'all, see if they had anything else. They have a ton of these papayas. They have uh, fig, which I did not see fig last time, so I'm excited about that. I'm just checking out the leaves and see which one I want. Um, they still have some fruit medleys, which is like your cherry. Look how big this one is. <laughs> Grown your own bananas. I would so uh, someone told me to look for the plantain, and I was like, oh okay. Yeah, I, I don't see it though, but look how big this one is already. You know, that pot right there has got roots galore. Um, the lemon, someone asked about the lemon, so let me tell you, it was more. $24.99 was the lemon. I already has. We're just now starting to get blooms. I don't know what's going on with our season here, but I'm not, I don't have anything on my peach tree. But I've noticed, like, going to the garden centers, that people that they're just now start getting blooms on things, too. So, I, I don't know. I think it's the weather just messed us up. But I don't have any blooms on my lemon. <laughs> olive, which I'm not surprised. I'm, I repotted it. So, the olive was 24 for this olive. I want to say the other olive was 13 But this one is 24 The um, blackberries is $13.98 they look alright look this one I already got blackberries I just have a ton of flowers um this little tomato can that they have potted up here um let's see self watering oh this is for indoor or outdoor $14.95 so that's not bad I mean I don't know it's just gonna produce a bunch and die on you after a while but they also have raspberry for the same price, that $13.98, and then the blueberry, which I don't know if I want to get into blueberry. I have to check out the dirt, the soil, make sure it's acidic enough and all that. I, I don't know about that yet. I don't know. I, I kind of want to, but for right now, I am interested in, so they still got banana plants here, and then this olive tree. Which I know is going to be beautiful. I like the branches because these are the branches people like to decorate in their homes or whatever. Wouldn't it be lovely to have your own like olive tree? Like nobody's buying them either. So the sale starts again. I think um, tomorrow, like a new sale. I wonder if they're gonna mark these and put them. They're probably gonna leave them the same price. They're not gonna mark them down, huh? Anyway, 
I'm trying to figure out which fig I want. I want to try. We used to have a big old fig tree in my backyard, my old house. And um, the kids used to pick them and smash them. It doesn't have to look that great. I, I, I don't expect anything this year from a fig. <laughs> so I'm just going to put out a few and see which one I want. I forgot to tell you, the avocado I think was $24.99 too. And they look pretty good. They look pretty healthy. Um, that's a few of them. So check your local Lowe's, honey. And if you are further up north, I did ask about that. And they said that they come out in, like it's a calendar, where so many come out this week in this city or state, a few weeks later, like it's a trickle down like thing. So yeah. All right, let me figure out which one I want. I don't want one that has leaves like this. These are all three for 12, which is quite expensive. But girl, look how big these are. Like these are whole huge tomato plants. Like they've overgrown because they were priced at um, like $4.48. This one was priced at $6.98. This right here is $6.98. Like that's crazy. Well, I guess it's not bad because how many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine plants? It can't be right. Oh, that's not bad then. Oh, that's not bad. Never mind. Don't pay me no mind. Six ninety eight, and you get that many plants? It says seven dollars, right? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. See, I thought it was per plant like this, per plant. But if you can get a whole shebang like tray. I'm not gonna see anything I want. I'm so for sure. Jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno. We got all that. It, like, yeah, I don't want it. Girl, this has whole peppers like growing on here already. My pepper plant has peppers too. The only thing we don't have is fruit. So, yeah. Oh, look at these leeks. Oh, look how many's in here. How much is this one? Six dollars, five forty-eight. That's a lot. But then you get. Quite a bit of leaks in here. One, two, three, four, at least 12. I don't know. Three for 12. Oh, okay, so they're on sale three for 12, so that would be $4 for that. And you would get all those leaks. Um, I don't really see anything I just want. Like if I just wanted to grab some plants real quick. Look how cute this little display is at Lowe's. That's a really pretty picture. Um. These are pretty. Oh wow, I didn't know they had this stuff at Lowe's. This is cute. Penny would like that. She would love this picture. 79. 47 for this cute little side table. Let me see. That's cute. Girl, this look real. That's cute. I didn't know they had this. Allen and Roth. Oh. Girl, they got a whole section of stuff at Lowe's. I see, I only go outside. I do not shop inside unless I'm looking for... Oh, wait. I see something. Okay, they have some pretty pillows. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn the camera around. Hopefully you can see the color better on this side. They have some pretty pillows. I need these clips. Um, Hold on. Hold on, let me show you. So, I might get these for my bed. They're regular 26. They're 16. Oh, somebody. Oh, I like these too. Okay, so these are 16. And these are, they're not that big, but they're, oh, they don't have that good stuff in though. But I kind of like this texture. Y'all see this texture? I mean, I would probably pay that for like pillow covers, right? <sighs> Oh, I kind of like these. Yeah, I kind of like these. I like these. They have these other ones. I like these too. They're really nice. Big, bigger style, like pillows. They're 29. Um, so are all these panels, are they all, oh no, no, no. Some of them are 84 inch, some are, are 96. But I'm not paying $80. I'm not doing that. All right, so they have some work over here. Um, 
Oh, I like that big one, that big gray one. I like this too, the black one. Oh, Origin 21. Oh, I like this too. It's 28. How much are these? Oh, girl, what if we got the wrong? No, it says butterfly. What if we got the wrong price? I'm not getting to the restaurant, I'm paying more. Okay. Oh, I like that. That poof. It's 80. I really like that pillow. I like this pillow. This looks like my sofa. I like that pillow. Pillow. My pillow. Pillow. And starting at 108. 9 by 12. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't get this pile rug because my rubber back doesn't back in that. Jeez, please. One ninety eight. That's crazy. For a twelve, nine by twelve. Are you kidding me? I don't really like any of them, but. Mm. Mm. Girl, this is heavy. <laughs> this is heavy. So it looks like you get one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's right, though. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're just in a pack and you're supposed to. But I don't know, but they're all in a pack. How much is this? I don't know. It don't even matter. I need to buy them. It says $11.98. I really need to just buy them. Because it says five foot... Um, it doesn't tell you how many come in a pack, so I'm so confused. I think it's supposed to be like that. Anyway, I got the seven foot because I have to stake it in the ground at least a foot or something, which would give me my six feet that I need for my um, my shade right, cloth. Right. Uh, okay, well, this is one thing I need. I didn't even come for this. I actually tried these before. One, they're too short, and they don't hold up. This little bee steak when the grass get wet, it just kind of like flams. It's like a temporary thing. Whereas this, I could steak this, and then like I said, if I ever move or need to move that, I could just take it out and bundle it up and move it. Yeah, I like I'd rather this option. It's probably cheaper at the feed store, which I need to go to today to get some hay. But um, whatever. All right, let's get out of here. Girl, these are 99 cents. Oh, honey, we're about to have this today. $3. $2.49. And I'm making blueberry walnut milk today. Holy freaking moly. My kids are going to lose it. $0.25 cent for mangoes. Okay, let me get a bunch of these. Girl, strawberries is high. Oh, my goodness. So blueberry, blackberries are 69 cents and raspberry night. Oh girl, let's get us to try. We're gonna freeze them and we're gonna eat some. Alright, so I don't need that. I don't need it. Alright, what is this? Utility cabinet. They still $79. That's what we have in our little arch. How much are these holes? It's 19. And these are kilt control. Oh, okay. I got a compost, tumbling compost, and like an edge. All right, so that one's 14. Pizza oven. I picked up one of these the other day. They work fine, they don't leak. Um, oh, this one smells so freaking good. This is the Poppy and Tonka, and this one is the Sweet Almond and Macaron. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. All right. Someone bought off all the soil. <laughs> so, yeah, that part. This is pretty, though. This is so pretty. This is what I have at home from a year or two ago. It still grows every year. Um, 
planted these the other day. $2.49, but this is so pretty. Look at this peony. It's past time though for this. Too late for that. These lilies. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. And yeah, this is so pretty. This dahlia. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I think it's past time. July, August. I don't know. I'm home. And I was thinking. A couple years ago, I started a project. And I had this guy to help me. And I just assumed he knew what he was doing. And he did not. And I don't know if y'all remember this or not. But we made these posts. And each post has a hook on it, right? I painted them. They are in these huge... Well, they're not really huge. But they're in these gallon pots right and the gallon pots have um cement and a little bit of dirt on top and i was like i could use these to hold the netting right but that's gonna be tall but i need to but they do not stand up on their own they do not stand up on their own because he didn't do it right i needed a bigger base for how tall the pole was. So I have these two over here too. Like I literally could just use these and hook my shade cloth on them and maybe put them in a pot like this. I don't know. I don't know y'all. I need something to where it stays up. I can't dig a hole and put them in the ground because of all the um, you know the pipes the wires whatever i can't do that but these will not stand up on them on their own they have to be something to stabilize them so i don't know to buy like um let me show you i only gotta come out here pots like these put them in a pot fill them up with dirt around and hope it holds it and doesn't make it you know, move or whatever. Mm. Well, my girls are open. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, should I just do that instead of putting those huge stakes down? Um, huh. I don't know. It's bees everywhere, wasps everywhere. Um, and then on top of that, when I pull the net out, the net is 10 by 6, so it's only going to come 6 feet out, which means these would have to be moved. The red pots would have to be moved because those will actually be here to hold the stakes, right? So these are the fencing stake posts right here. And you see they're 7 feet, but I'm going to try to bang them a foot down in the ground and try to even them off, but they're so like good and sturdy but oh, oh that pot is too if i can put it in another pot like this where it keeps it from i'm gonna put a lot of dirt in there right and it needs to be this tall but that would mean i would pay twenty dollars a pot whereas these I already have these at eleven dollars a piece but then i just have those sitting over there doing absolutely nothing i don't even know what to do with them all right, so I'm just gonna drill some holes in the fence and then screw these in. And I'm going to go ahead and hook my. This one is um, a 70% cloth um, for more tender like things. And then as, when we go down further, it'll be like the 50%. I didn't order the 50% yet, so I need to order one. But um, these rings will hook onto these, onto the fence. That's pretty much how I do it every year. Um, Nothing new except for the old tarp I have. I've had it for like five years. It's kind of gotten thin on me. Four years. It's gotten thin on me. I actually was using it for some other stuff. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and hook and as I go. So I've already got one hook in. And then as I get down further, I'll um, screw another one in. And then we'll open it up and see how far it goes. And I'm 
the um, the ook hooks because they last longer with weather. They don't really rust out on me. Like I still have hooks in the wall from five years ago. So, so recently I had the PVC pipes, pipes, and I was supposed to stop it from dipping or whatever. Um, but I gotta figure out another solution to keep this from um, to keep it up and shaded. So, like I said, this is just the ten, the twelve, ten. Is it? This is 10 by 6. That's what this is, 10 by 6. This is a shorter one. But that's all I kind of needed for this area. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can put this one in. I guess 5 foot would have been big enough, actually. Um, So this is what this looks like right now. I need to bring them down a little bit further. It's just hard. <laughs> it's hard. But yeah. That's one piece. And now I need to shade the other side. I need to order the right size. I think I need to order 20 by 6 on this side. So yeah, that means I would need one more of these posts. But 11 bucks, that's not bad. And then I can actually hang stuff from this post if I want to. That's what I'm thinking. Um, once I get them in there like a foot in, I could probably hang like plants on here. Um, let me see. So, I have this tomato and so I'm thinking about hanging it on the post. I'm just gonna zip tie it to make sure it hangs. I don't know how I'm gonna zip tie it but like this. So I need some more zip ties. I got it down like half a foot. I need to get it down a whole foot. So I need to get it out even further, but they're on there, they're hooked in. I did move my hanging bag right here, hold on. And um, kind of zip tied it on here. I'm gonna zip tie it a little bit more so that it stays. But this is how big this tomato has gotten. Um, they're beautiful actually, they're really pretty. And um, they're doing really good. So I just wanted to have some sun. That's why I moved it over here. It's too much shade underneath there. Um, yeah, so I think this is gonna work. I just need to hammer it in with a um, mallet, like a little bit more a rubber mallet or something. What is this? What is that? Oh man, my tomatoes are falling off. Um, but I'm gonna hang my hanging plants here. I got one in here. I'm gonna hang the pepper one on the other side. And then maybe I can pot up a few more of the planters like this. And we can hang more like this but um yeah I'm, i need to move this hook over this in the back because if you see the wind has it moving yeah 
but I might can stop the wind a little bit if I take this hole and zip tie it like this. All right, so I am going to get some black zip ties. I don't know how I felt about these orange ones, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie the um, there's two black ones. I need to buy some more. Um, pepper at this one. I only put one in here. I wish kind of. I kind of wish I had to put more in here now, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and hang this one. Does it have flowers? Not quite yet. No. Okay. Maybe it will now, because it's growing over here instead of by those tomatoes. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't think that's going anywhere either. Okay, so that looks so much better. The girls are picking weeds for jewels, honey. So that's just a 10 by six. That's all that is. So that's 10 feet right there. And all this east and other ones. So we'll either order a 30 or a 20 feet. I'll measure it in a little bit. But yeah, it's so much cooler up underneath there, right? That's why I figured. Yeah, much cooler. So we just need to do the other one this way. All right, so that's it for that project. Um, the other post that's on the fence, once I um, get the other one, we'll stake them when I get those. So sometimes, probably next week. I had the twist and lock it, so that's good. It's actually fading. Probably need a new one, but um, I'm going to leave that one up. I need to put this one up, and then I think I'm going to put another one right here. Um, if they have them on sale at, at home today, we're going to go grab us one. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna put the other one on the other side. Um, it looks so little, y'all. That's 10 feet. It looks so little on camera. That's crazy. That's 10 feet. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna move this, but somehow I need to be able to put like the umbrella right, right here, like I got on that side. Um, so I'm gonna have to move this mint and this just a little bit over. Um, yeah, not too much over though. Camera did a whole backflip. Oh well. I know the wind was that strong. Good lord. Alright, so I'm gonna put that pot right here somehow. I have a pot that I can put an umbrella in. Let me see if I can get it. So, in order for the umbrella to fit right over here, we're going to take this apart <laughs> and slide it up. Because we need the umbrella like a little bit back. So, I'm going to take this apart and hope I don't mess up none of the plants. Lord have mercy. I need to at least take a few, maybe not all of them. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is heavy. Oh, this needs to be clean anyway. Clean this out in the middle for me. Let's just get the water hose in. Clean it out. Oh my God. 
Look at the water just setting in here. Tara, clean this one out too. Tell her to clean this one out too. Yeah, so the water's sitting in here because it's dirty. Get a, um, Tara, go get a sponge out of there or something so she can scrub that clean. That's why the water's not getting through because they're dirty. See, this one holding water too. Just scrub them a little bit so you can see the little hole. Um, this one's dirty too. Oh well, they, just, they all just need to be clean. How about that? All right, thank you. Cool. Move this out some like this. Nothing's growing in this bottom one. It's wet though. Soil looks good. Might put some um. What you call them? Uh, watermelon seeds down here. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Jesus. This is heavy. All right, so I'm gonna leave this one like this. This, oh, I can't do that until she washes the thing. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot, you gotta wash them first. All right, so we haven't done this in a while. Now we can see through the holes. So the water shouldn't stay now. I almost want to drill b bigger holes, but I'll leave it as it is. Um, so I'm going to change the layout a little bit up here. What's the problem? What am I doing? Woo! I'm out of breath. These things are heavy. Bring me the water hose. Woo! Bring me the water hose. I said that like three times. Is the water on? No, no. Oh, well. Oh, my God. This is going to be so heavy. What the heck was I thinking? Crazy. Crazy lady. All right. Wow. 
line these up. So it's every other one, right? And that's the top one. So I think I'm gonna switch the top one because I feel like this needs more sun. I don't even know what's growing in here. So yeah, let's switch it. Let's put this one. Oh my god. This is heavy. Good. We gotta grow some up here. I don't know what we need to grow. This probably got seeds in it. It probably just needs to grow. All right. Last but not least, I guess this is good enough. I'm gonna have you watch this too. I forgot. That's okay. All right. So now we can move this umbrella thing back here. So this is one of the umbrella poles and cement and some dirt in a bucket so that my umbrellas will stop falling over on me because they fall over in our wind for some reason. Oh. Yeah. Towers right there, everything's here. I'm going to figure out how to put that umbrella right there somehow, some way. Um, yeah. Even if I got to move the mint and rotate the mint and put the umbrella here. I don't know, but I just want it like that one. So it could shade that side and shade this side. Penny, fix the pillows for us. Well, I guess it don't matter because, baby, it is windy. We got our centronella stick going. Smell good out here. Now, I'm just waiting on my grow bags to get here so I can move my... Ooh, girl, I'm tired. Huh? Oh, uh huh. Penny's painting. It used to be a mirror. That's just been in the garage. So she's gonna paint that so we can put it on the fence somewhere, like for decor or something. So she's painting that right now. That should go probably on the other side. Yeah, or it can go right here in the middle too. Either either right here or on the other side by where my um sweet potatoes are. Those are not even sweet potatoes, man. Those are red potatoes. Um, yeah, just pour that out. Just pour that out by the fence in that corner back there somewhere. But um, I just uploaded a quick reel on my tomatoes, what's growing, and all the ones we have. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you'll know. Once you put that on there, don't move it. Just leave it right there. I just don't want it on the ground because that's heavy. Um, she's stacking the dirt that we had on the ground just trying to get that out the way so we don't burn our grass and i'm about to go online and order the other one i'm going to measure it real quick oh, i forgot that one's heavy so we're going to measure it real quick so we can see what we need to get but um it feels good underneath here oh my god is that a monarch butterfly is that a monarch butterfly all right, so let's talk about what we got today from Aldi, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. I know it's been a long video. Um, 
All right, so from Aldi, I did get three of these since they were 99 cents, the baby bill. I'm thinking about doing something. It's like an egg. It's like a nasturtium egg bowl like thing I'm going to do. You use like the peppers and the mushrooms and the cheese or whatever to make them. So I'll do that um, tomorrow. I have um, some jalapenos, two bags of cilantro. I have some spinach. One is going in the refrigerator. One is going in the freezer for smoothies. I have um, some peppers because we don't have any more. They ate them all. I have some oranges for our orange juices and our fruit bowls. Some carrots for our carrot, pineapple, and orange juice. We don't have some juice. Some more ginger, which I just need to go to the um, Indian grocery. They, theirs is better and it's cheaper than everybody. Cheaper than Costco, Sam's, everybody, period. Um, and then I got some red onions. Can't live without them. I got a plethora of berries. So we got some blueberries to make us some blueberry walnut milk. Um, it's a blueberry lavender milk. I'm going to make that actually in a few minutes. Um, some raspberries. Oh, girl. Four packs of raspberries. Some are going to the freezer. Some are going to the fridge. Six packs of the blackberries, which I probably should go back and get more because we're going to eat all these. I can eat one of these like in five minutes. Like, I better just eat blackberries with the pate. I end up getting, I think, 12 or 15 mangoes because they were 25 cents, of course. And that is it. Picked up some hair dye because um, I need to, I think I'm gonna get my hair braided, so I need to dye my gray hair. I got this whopper of a watermelon. Girl, it's like 40 pounds. I don't know how big this is, but it's heavy. It's at least 40 pounds. So I picked this up. Um, you would have seen some of the other stuff from the, well, probably not from the Costco haul because I never even edited that video. So anyway, mm-hmm. So anyway, that is it for me today. I'm a little hot and sweaty, but I'm going to be hot and sweaty because I got to go back outside. So Penny's painting. Tara's just chilling out with her. And um, I think that's it um, for right now. So I'll see you on the next video. I'm not going to prep any of this on this video. It's the same stuff. I'm just going to wash, flash freeze, throw them in the containers. And uh, girl, they came out from school. They were so excited to see all their fruit in the freezer. So they was like, I was like, Yep, about to go down. Because they're they'll make like um all the fruit with just a little bit of coconut water or just a little something like a juice, like a just a little something, even water. And they'll put them in our um freezer pops. I don't know, they're not over here. I'm not gonna get them. And they'll freeze them and it's, it's like ice. It's like uh popsicles. So yeah, they they like that. They love that. I do too. It's almost like um like I said, I have an ice cream, it's like not sherbet, but it's like fruit ice cream. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so good when it's frozen like that. But anyway, oh girl, it is hot already. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I got to get some energy because I got to bang that thing in even further. So I'm going to see if I can find somebody with a rubber mallet I can borrow and get that thing in or find somebody, somebody's man I can borrow to just, I just need like a half a foot in. I'm just not that strong. And that's it. See y'all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Go to Aldi's, catch these sales. Go to Lowe's if you're still looking for fruit trees and see if they have them in your area, especially down south. I say zone 8 through like 10, 11, whatever, girl. See if you can find them. Um, where does the zone stop? Is there 11 or 12? I don't remember. Anyway, see if you can catch it in the southern zones, all right? And see y'all in the next one. Peace.